Talk about loony bins. The House just voting to strike the word lunatic from federal law. The vote, 398 to 1. You always want to be, who's the lunatic who, who didn't vote? He's here. We booked the lunatics. Texas Republican Congressman Louie Gomer. Uh, I give you credit, Congressman. You saw this for what it was. What the heck were they trying to do here? Well, why would we need to even do this? I mean, they said, well, we changed the word retarded. Well, yeah, I know some people found that offensive, but lunatic, it's a good word. And my, my uh, communications emailed me right after the vote and said, AP, all these others are wanting a, a statement. Why did you cast the only no vote against this? And so I topped up a quick and said, uh, look, not only should we not eliminate the word lunatic when the nation's on the brink of bankruptcy, we ought to use the word to apply to anybody who wants to keep doing business as usual in Washington. It is lunacy what we were doing, like you were talking about. We shouldn't be taking a break. And I loved your flat tax. Uh, you said fair tax, flat tax. But there are some basic principles, and I love the points you laid out, Neil. Those are the things we well, ought to I, be I doing. Well, I do what I can. But, you know, Congressman, I'm not there in the seat of power like you. I'm just a prompter reader, your <laughs> average one. Well, uh, I become super and, when I put that costume on. Pam, can we show that uh, animation again? <laughs> yeah. That's what I look like when I put it on. But, but enough about me. Back yeah. to what you're going to do to help me and advance this cause of settling and, and this, bridging this gap. Because... I don't know what it is with you guys, but you just can't do it. What's the problem? Well, it shouldn't be. Well, every time we have leverage in the House, we give it away. And you're right. The important issue here is the spending. We've got the debt ceiling. We've got even, even Republican leaders saying maybe we ought to give our leverage, our con constitutional control of spending to this president because confidentially they say, you know, we take a beating every time we raise the debt ceiling. Maybe we ought to just quit voting and just let the president do it. Are you crazy? Just because it's a tough vote doesn't mean you give away your leverage. Well, they have no That's problem doing votes on, on whether we can use the word lunatic or whether we can have oh, yeah, in your yeah, cafeteria to watch yeah. a Lincoln movie. So obviously oh, they yeah. can make uh, very tough decisions with, regarding those issues. But man. Well, it's absurd. But but these are basic principles you talk about. And let me tell you, when I really grew to love you, Neil, and I'm not kidding, was back during TARP, all those around us, you were losing their heads saying, you've got to give the Treasury Secretary $700 billion or we'll, it's all no over. Way. And some of us, and you were particularly. But that's, you know, that's kind of a socialist deal, the federal government buying private assets. And I was so depressed, and I fought it. I was so emotional. You did. I, I, give, my credit, I give my credit to you. That was under President deep Bush. President Bush. Deep in depression that Saturday so. morning, you had the socialist candidate for president on your show. And as I sat there depressed, he said, well, you said you guys were against TARP. And they said, well, we realized after it passed, this is the greatest day for socialism in American history. I remember you that. Do, did that. You brought back some encouragement somebody particularly you were getting it and spreading truth well, and light please. so thank you, know, you for not being we're a modest by, we're modest by nature that's one of the colleagues well, i like about myself the most. That's for but sure. congressman thank you very very much we're going to continue pounding this